Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Ed Mihas Tusapapa, and I'm here doing uh, readings for July. Just additional readings here. So, um, currently on the sign of Aquarius. I'm using a new deck, um, so bear with me because uh, this deck is the Urban Tarot. And it's a little different from um, some of the others. So, yeah. A lot of intuition is going to go into interpreting some of these cards. Because it's different. The court, the court system isn't, you know, the same. There's no kings in this deck. Uh, it looks as though, like, the prince and the princess is higher than the queen there's a knight there's a queen and then there's the uh, prince and the princess the princess is the highest according to the order that they have you know it listed in the the guidebook so but this is a general read please know that uh all of the mes messages may not apply for everyone but there is going to be some wisdom that i feel like any anyone can take i truly feel like my readings are timeless so um whether you know you watch this video or it's when it's put out or months later I still feel like it may resonate so uh, let's get into it um, on the sign of Aquarius so the divine forces of unconditional love of the highest microcosm what does the sign of Aquarius need to know for their highest skill Only uh, energies of love, light, peace, hope, hope, and prosperity are allowed in this space. Any lower vibrational energies, I send you away with love and light. I pray for your ascension in the spirit realm, but you are not welcomed here. All right. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. All right, so it looks as though there's a... Um, a very strong uh, relationship in your life that you know you're unsure about that either you're wanting to walk away from or they're wanting to walk away from you you know you're really in your head about someone and your intuition I feel is telling you to leave them um, because we have here the Eight of Swords energy, clarified by the Princess of Discs, which can be, you know, the highest uh, according to this deck, one of the high, the highest energies within the Earth uh, element. And the princess of disc is about, you know, growth and nurturing. Um, they, she's the epitome of that. But it's clarified by the Eight of Swords. It's um, also clarified by surrender obsessive thinking. And the unicorn. Spirit is wanting you to hand the situation over. Don't rack your brain about it um, anymore. Just hand it over to spirit this person has possibly put you through a lot you know um, but spirit wants you to know that nothing was wasted as you know part of the overall energy is the vulture card and underneath that is the uh, eagle and the eagle is that all pervading energy um, the trans you know that transformative fire the transformative uh, karma fire you know uh, and so this was all necessary. This abandonment that you possibly felt was all necessary for you to ascend to the next level. Because we do have the judgment card here clarified by the Ace of Swords. Um, you're really wanting to hold on to this relationship. But I feel like Spirit is asking you to release it. Um, and the reason why you're you don't want to release it perhaps 
um, Aquarius is due to you know low self esteem. You know, spirit is saying here you deserve success, love, and abundance. Set in a set in attention to identify and release any remnants of low self esteem, and beneath that is surrender denial. You know that you need to release this person, but you know. Um, it's just you're having a hard time doing so right now. Uh, the sur uh, Surrender Denial card says, Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the, d the best decisions. See this person in this situation exactly as it is. Don't try to uh, look at the situation through rose-colored glasses, you know. Um, it's time to release it. I'm going to get um, some music oracle cards here. But, yeah under with this uh, eight of swords energy clarified by the princess of discs we have the surrender obsessive thinking it says if you're obsessing about a person or situation turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will help bring clarity or even solve the problem is clarified by the unicorn card which is about spirituality and uh, whether you know and and you know your belief in it you know because when you think of the unicorn people are like does it does it exist maybe i don't know no you know just that question as as to if spirit really is uh is there a such thing as spirit if there is actually you know another realm out there the overall energy again nothing is wasted with the vulture we have Ludwig van Beethoven, Beethoven, and the energy in this car card's message says the wrong note is insignificant. Playing without passion is excusable. Okay, so you gave your whole being to this relationship. So don't feel bad about having to release it. Don't feel bad or don't have any regrets because you did everything in your power to make it work. And it just, this person either was, I'm not really getting much in, 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 um, information on this other person. Spirit is wanting to focus on you and your healing. Obviously, this person didn't do what they're supposed to do. It says, listen, destiny is knocking at your door. Conduct a symphony in silence. So, you know, don't reach out to this person. You just move on with your life focus on your work here because um, the surrender excessive thinking this energy of the eight of swords clarified by the princess of disc and the unicorn is clarified by the amy winehouse musical oracle card and it says learn to love your truant heart honeymoons should last a lifetime treat your scars as your best feature okay so yeah this person may have left you with some scars, but you are turning that, you're transforming that, you're going to transmute all of that negative energy that this person uh, have put on you, and you're going to surrender to creativity. This is the energy that we're in now. The High Priestess clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Um, your intuition is telling you to abandon it. Your intuition is telling you also it's time to focus on your finances, okay? Um, and so in this energy of, you know, abandoning this person, of course, taking a spiritual bath here, because if you see, she's in this bath. She has her candles lit with rope, you know, flowers all in the tub. So um, a part of your healing could be in you taking a spiritual bath, adding your crystals and things. So uh, make sure that you do that. 
and surrendering to creativity okay so let your imagination soar stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or a problem because we have that clarified by the spider card which is weaving you're working you're weaving the web and this web that you're weaving is not only going to uh, support you but it's going to support other people around you yeah these people may have doubted you and you know uh maybe pushed you to the side because they didn't think you were worthy but you just keep pushing don't you allow this person to uh, make you have low self-esteem the music oracle card clarifying that energy is the leonard cohen card it says when it comes to art all that matters is telling your story well right ludwig uh, van Beethoven said the wrong note is insignificant playing without passion now that is inexcusable so stay living your life in passion find that love that you're looking for outside of yourself within yourself okay beneath that we have the princess of wands again remember i was telling you the princesses are the strongest energy in the uh set in um in the um in the court cards within this tarot and this is the dancer and isn't dancers very creative when it comes to music and then we have her taking a leap of faith wow and then clarify here by the knight of wands which is the rock star so we have a lot of this creative energy a lot of creative energy here And I'm feeling like perhaps you were uh, in a pro possibly a relationship with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you felt like your, your lives, you know, you were meant to be together. However, you can no longer ignore the situation. Like I said here, when surrender denial, accept people in the situations exactly as you as they are. You know that this person is maybe held up in some type of way some way shape form or fashion maybe they're married uh maybe they have low self-esteem or whatever but whatever it is this person is really toxic right now and it's not time for you guys to be together right now at this very moment in the month of july you just need to focus on your creative your creativity you know and and um pursuing your dreams and your goals um and you know just indulging in self-love practices you know um the leonard cohen cards also says travel lightly through the darkness yes yeah, so this is a dark time it's not easy because you really you know have a lot of deep love for this person and it sucks that it didn't work out but maybe that's more ego than it is you know anything else more ego or the fact that you just don't have any of the options right now but travel lightly through the darkness is that's learn to live in the intervals between events okay so this is the you are in between events right now you're in between you know trans um and you're in between leaving this old um desire focusing your, on yourself until uh, something new comes in okay which brings us to your last energy here which is the judgment card clarified by the ace of swords so the judgment card is that card of you know um completion and going on to the next level you know that's clarified by the ace of swords which is that energy of um triumph of power of peace of clarity of uh, intellect and it says here listen to the wisdom of your body this could be that uh, intuition the high priestess card it says listen to your body's messages about a person or situation there we go again um, if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you're energized and happy move forward so this energy is clarified by the peacock, the number uh, the page is on is 173 which is 11 which is the energy which is a master number 
Uh, the peacock is inner beauty, compassion, a simulator of anything. Okay, so you can get through this. Listen to the wisdom of your body. You can assimilate this. Find the uh, lessons that you're supposed to learn um, and move on. It says the beauty of the peacock is unrivaled. Okay, the beauty of you, Aquarius, is unrivaled. So don't allow this person to have you in this energy of low self esteem. It says it's easy to think it comes from the plumage. But the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward indefinitely. That's what spirit is wanting you to see. Wants to see, want, wants you to see the beauty that's within you. Okay? Not focusing on these other people that are not even worthy of your time. Okay? They came to teach you a lesson. They were in your life for a season, not a lifetime. You thought that they were supposed to be there for a lifetime. You felt like that, that was the case. You know, uh, but it's not, not, at, not at this time anyway. Okay. Just not at this time. I feel, um, the secret of the peacock is as this adept, adept creature can assimilate or digest all experiences in life. So it does not harbor resentment conflict or past pain within his psyche it's time to release it release the pain release the doubt release the low self-esteem that this person made you feel and find that beauty that's within you Aquarius okay because it is this is there don't allow this person or anyone else to make you feel like it's not and that you're not worthy it says the peacock type is extremely rare not many of us have reached this advanced level of acceptance of self and others. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. That's why we have the judgment here. That's why it says, listen to the wisdom of your body clarified by the Ace of Swords. You are connected to spirit so much so that even though this person may try to bring you down, it only made you stronger and only made your light shine even brighter. Okay. So it says, uh, when out of balance, can't digest situations. When in balance, confident and kind to bring in balance, meditation on the navel. So meditation on that navel area, that solar plexus, uh, sacral chakra area. But just focus, meditate on that navel area, okay? The music oracle card clarifies find that row is the John Lennon card and it says here not everything you see is a mirage not everything you hear is a lie like I said you felt in your intuition that this person is is the one just because things aren't working out right now just because this person has made you feel a certain way right now in this time doesn't mean that you know what you heard was a lie you know even if it doesn't come together you know um, as time progresses. It wasn't a lie, okay? It says, if you enjoy wasting time, then it isn't wasted. You live, you you may have played the wrong note, but you did it with passion, okay? Just like the vulture card is all about, you know, nothing being wasted, okay? And like I said, if you enjoy, if you enjoyed yourself, you know, then it wasn't wasting. It says peace is the only thing worth hoping for. And you're able, you're in the energy of finding that peace again. But within yourself, within the beauty that is you. Okay. All right. I think that is all we need to say about this. I don't think there's any more clarifiers that need to be put out. If you like the reading, please like, share, uh, and subscribe to the channel if you want to exchange energy with me loving energy with me go ahead and donate to the channel i will include my cash app um, tag in the description box below as well um, if you want a personal reading i will my email address would be in the description box just shoot me an email and we'll go from there all right i love you all and until next time peace